Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to do a short recipe. It's not a full meal. This is homemade guacamole. And there's several ways you can make this. Some people like it chunky, some people like it smooth, some people want it to be really hot and spicy, and some people more mellow. This is gonna be a little bit more mellow. I'm not gonna add any jalapenos today. Normally I do. Today I wanna to make a more mild form and you can add those if you want to. I do make mine a little chunky. I don't do anything um, really super smooth. I like the chunks of onions and tomatoes in there and a, a few chunks of even the avocado. So to start off the recipe, I'm gonna have two avocados, about half of an onion. I'm using red, but you could use any onion you like. One tomato, and then I'm gonna use some of this pre-diced garlic. I'm gonna use a full teaspoon of that, but you could also dice your own garlic. And then I'm also going to have today some spices in there. So I've got a mix of spices here. I have one teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of salt in here together. So once I get all of my vegetables in the bowl and my avocados mashed, then I will start adding in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my vegetables prepped and chopped and ready to go. in this bowl, my onion, my tomato, and my avocados. Now I'm gonna add my one teaspoon of minced garlic. And like I said, fresh is totally fine. I just use a lot of garlic in my house and I feel like this saves me time. So it's one teaspoon of garlic. Now, this is where I'm a little different. So you can put this in a food processor if you want that really smooth consistency. Like I said, I like the chunks. I don't want it smooth. So, I get my pastry cutter. And for those of you who watched me make the turkey burgers last week, I love this tool and I rarely use it for pastry, which is funny. Um, but I'm gonna mash my avocados with this. And I mash it with the onions, with the tomatoes, with the garlic, because it helps to blend it and give those a finer chop a little bit too. So this is gonna be a chunky guacamole, almost like guacamole salad, but it's what I like. Now, I'm the only person in my family who eats guacamole. My oldest son will sometimes eat a little bit of it, but it's really just me. So I don't make a lot. Like I said, there's only two avocados, and I put a lot of onion. If you don't want this much onion, don't put this much onion. Completely make it your own. I'm also not putting cilantro in here today. Not because I don't like cilantro, because I don't have any. Because vegetables and certain things in the grocery store have been limited lately. But this, um, this spring, this summer, I hopefully will, or this summer, I will hopefully have some cilantro in my garden. I do a small garden um, with what I call my salsa and guacamole ingredients because <laughs> I make them so much in the summer. All right, so I'm gonna scrape off my pastry cutter here. And then I'll show you it up close image of that here shortly so you can see what that's going to look like. So I've got all that together. I can eat it just like this. There's not really any spices in there. So this has all of my seasoning that we talked about earlier. So I'm just going to sprinkle that somewhat evenly over the top. Just get a rubber spatula, metal spoon, whatever you have on hand, and start folding that in to your guacamole. I almost said fold that into your batter because I'm so used to baking. Okay, so we're gonna stir that in. Now it's gonna look, it looks a little bit weird in color because of the seasoning kind of colored a little bit. Doesn't bother me any. 
But as you know, if you've ever made guacamole at home, shelf life is limited. So you have to make this basically right before you eat it. Um, I will say though, I'm gonna add some lemon juice now. Now, you, if I have lime juice, I will use lime juice, but I don't have any today. So we're gonna use some lemon juice and that will help the color brighten back up and keep it from turning so quickly. So I'm just using lemon juice directly from the grocery store. If you have fresh lemons, perfect, that's even better. And I don't normally measure things, you know how I am. So I'm just gonna get a regular teaspoon and do one heaping teaspoon in here and stir that in. And that's actually a step you don't want to do without because it just turns yucky and brown, even if it tastes good still, it's just not gonna look appetizing. Guacamole isn't really all that appetizing to begin with, let's be honest here. Okay. So I've got everything in there, and this will actually grow a little stronger in flavor the longer it sits in your refrigerator. So normally, if I'm having people over, I make guacamole every time I have people over. I love it, it gives me an opportunity to make it, and then they'll all get eaten with the help from others. So I usually make it just like 30 minutes before they're gonna arrive, and I have to put them out on the counter ready to go, it's fresh. If you don't put some kind of citrus, like the lemon or lime juice on it, it will turn so quickly and it will not have to add it to your guests. So, I've got it all folded in. Now let's try it with some chips. Okay, ready to go. So I've got, in my opinion, a half a serving of guacamole. I could easily eat two of those. I'm gonna try it with the chips. I really like the tomato, so I'll try to get a tomato slice in mine. And if you taste this, you're like, it's not really, it's not really seasoned it. I want it stronger. And you're not gonna add jalapenos to it, then you'd add more salt, add more cumin. Um, play around with it. Make this your own. This is your chance to make it whatever you want it to be. So good. And the chunks of the tomatoes and onion really give it a pop of freshness. It doesn't feel mushy. Actually, has crunch to it. And I'm sitting here eating this. I'm sitting here thinking I need more salt. So that's what I'm saying. You can totally change it. I'm going to add a little bit more salt to mine. And this is gonna be my lunch. Hope you all enjoy.